Hello, hello, hello. This is from Heart to Heart podcast number 12. And it's me, May Mustafa. I'm back with a new episode part 2 from the previous one, what I've learned about life in 2020. As a matter of fact, that life doesn't stop teaching us. It's the ultimate teacher. And we are the infinite students. It's good because we not always listen to people lecturing us. But if it's life, we will listen because we have to. Never stop paying attention to what's happening around you and to you. Try to get notes to use them in your favor whenever you need them. And as Benjamin Franklin said, Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I'll learn. And I think life always involves us in a lot of things so that we have to learn them. And as you know, this is part 2 from the awesome previous episode, part 1. So if you didn't listen to part 1 yet, go and listen to it after listening to this one. Now I will just go quickly on what I've talked about in the in the previous podcast. Just those little lessons and then we will continue what I've learned about life in 2020. Lesson number one. To focus on the bright picture as whole, not just those black spots in it. Number two, don't focus on the problem so much. Just focus on the solution and how to make it work on your favor. Three, never stop learning and exploring. Four, whenever you have the chance to laugh, laugh. Don't hold yourself from laughter because you'll need the energy later. Five, enjoy those hard moments and feel the shock and the pain because it's okay. Because those moments, the, that shock and that pain, will help you to grow and it will increase your wisdom and it will give you the experience the real experience about life so feel it and use it in your favor number six there is no room for perfection To be honest, this podcast is not perfect, so if you are looking about or looking for the perfect podcast, this one is not for you because it's not perfect. For me, there is no room for perfectionism. It may be good. It may be not good enough, but whatever it is... I will go for it. I will do my best. And for you, do the same. Whatever you're doing in your life, whatever you're doing in your life, there's no need to be perfect in that. Because whenever you're going in that road, you will learn something new. Whenever you're... You experience a lot, you're doing efforts, you will learn something new about yourself and about what you're doing, about the job, about that skill, about whatever you're doing. So don't, fo- don't focus on perfection because there's no need to be perfect. I didn't wait until be until being perfect in recording and in podcasting and 
in English because, as you know, English is not my first language. But still, I'm hustling. I'm doing my best. I'm trying. I'm trying every single day to get better, to improve. So, be persistent and commit on your dreams. That is really a good piece of information and advice. So please take it and do it. Number seven. Take care of yourself first. Don't wait until you find someone who will take care of you. Take care of yourself. I know a lot of people who are really just waiting, waiting, waiting until they find the right person, the right man, or the right girl over the, of their dreams. And then, I don't know even when will they find those perfect person for them. And they imagine or they fancy that when they're... When they, when they find that person, they will change. I'm here to tell you, don't wait. Don't wait anything. Change to yourself. Change for yourself. You deserve to be a better person, to be pretty, to be healthier, to be, to be knowledgeable for yourself, not for somebody else. Don't wait until you find someone who will take care of you, who will nurture you. You nurture yourself. You take care of yourself. Take responsibility of yourself and of your life. Number eight. Throw or through yourself into challenges and observe how you will react. Nine, work out more and notice how strong you are because I think that's linked in our mind to how strong we will be in life. How strong we will fight for what we really want in our lives. Those lessons, what I've talked about in my previous podcast, and I talked a lot, a lot, a lot, and, I've, and I gave a lot of information, and, a, you know, I really talked a lot in the previous podcast. So, if you really want to go through that in more details, just go and listen to that, the previous episode after, after, after listening to this one. Now, let's continue our lessons, but after taking a little break. Number 10. Don't let people see you crying. Because you need to be tough. You need to be strong in front of other people. I I have no problem to cry. But don't cry in front of other people. Just cry privately, individually, in some private place. In your room, alone, cry alone. Don't let other people to see your your weaknesses. First of all, because in those moments we really get weak. We really believe everything and anything other people telling us about ourselves. Maybe, you know, we just be vulnerable to everything, criticism, or anything. What if you're crying in front of a person or or people and some of them or some one of them told you something really bad, he criticized you in really 
a horrible way and you and you were really vulnerable and you take it and believe it and what if it's not really fact about you it was a lie he was lying he just he just was was really one of you to to get into into pieces maybe that person is really an evil person who will enjoy seeing you in a horrible state what if i really love those what ifs because because we are not in zootopia world we are in the real world and we are in the battlefield every single day and we are not surrounded by by angels but or by angels there is angels and there is evils or devils and i really think it's the reality it's the reality so please don't cry in front of other people and there is another another reason in in my mind actually why i said that or what i really uh why i really re- learned that uh because what if those people that you that you cried front they just took it on you and every time you see them they just remind you whenever they have the chance and remind you about that horrible state and how you how you were were really weak and crying you know it's really it's really a bad situation whenever uh whenever you want to forget something and other people don't let you forget that because because those moments that we really cry is really a valuable moments and a precious moments and even though we are crying because we get hurt but it's still our tears is really pressure um precious not pressure sorry <laughs> precious and i really i really advise you to not let other people to see that precious thing you know those tears those tears are really precious don't let just anybody to let you cry and whenever you want to cry don't go and and cry in front of people i know that it's really obvious that we don't we don't cry in front of other people but it's still it's still i need to remind you that don't 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 ever if you feel like you really want to cry just hold yourself until you be alone and let yourself cry number 11 think how to create a life without needing any one i really i really when i read that i think um it's really a bad advice you know in the first second that you hear that it may sound like it's a, it's a bad advice and it may maybe that made you think like i am a lonely person and my heart is broken and i'm really i'm really living a horrible life but it's not like that so please listen to me i said think how to create a life without needing any one to comfort you it's really important to comfort you you comfort yourself you comfort yourself really it's really an important thing to to learn 
how to comfort yourself whenever you get broken, whenever you get mad, whenever you feel like feel like sad or something like that. Know yourself. Know what really make you what really makes you happy, what really makes you makes you angry, what really makes you sad. Learn about those things and learn what really makes you happy and try to do those things whenever you feel sad. Whenever you get you get you know broken or something, someone hurt you, hurts you. Try to comfort yourself by yourself and remember how great you are. Remember how strong you, you are. Remember how successful you are. You need to, you need to remember those moments, those things in those moments. I know that a lot of us need help in those moments, but I just want you to to just notice who you are and to notice what you are doing in a lot of different statements when you sad or when you are sad when you're happy when you're crying when you're angry in those moments try to Observe and notice what you are doing in those moments and try to comfort yourself. For me, whenever I feel sad, I go and read manga, I go and maybe listen to some music, I go and watch movies or watch some some TV series, I, I prefer some chocolate and some sweet stuff in those moments. That what I'm doing whenever I feel sad. I do that. I try to comfort myself. I even watch Mulan a lot. It was 1998 uh, part one. And to be honest, it's really, really old, old animation. But it's still, um... I'm watching that a lot whenever I get I get hurt emotionally or whenever I become sad. For me, I observed what I'm doing when I'm happy and I'm trying to I'm trying to do those things whenever I feel sad. I'm really get excited when I read manga because I love it. I love it. I love it. And yesterday I was really, really sad and reading, by reading manga, it made me really get better. It's not, it's not that I, I'm telling you to be alone and those, you know, shitty things. No, I'm not because I'm still, I have a partner now in my life and I'm not telling you to, to... Isolate yourself from other people. No, I'm just telling you to put in your head those things. What if, what if you really can't comfort yourself and you need someone to comfort you? Okay, what if that person, that specific person, slept one day? And woke up one day and decided he really, he really doesn't want to be around you anymore. He decided to leave you. What if that happens? Put that in mind. Okay, that might happen. If you really have someone to comfort you, good for you, hallelujah. But what if there is no one like that in your life? You need to comfort yourself by yourself. 
so that learn learn and put in your mind what if what if that person just decided to leave you what will you do if he decided to do that what will you do would you commit a suicide because there's nobody to comfort you absolutely not you're stronger than that so what you need to do is to learn more about yourself and to comfort yourself by yourself. There's, it, it's really, really, really a great thing to, to have a lot of people around you who really, loves, who really love you. There's no problem in that. It's really, really great. Great, great, great. I'm really having a lot of people in fr- you know, around me that really... I can't see how much they love me. But it's still, but it's still, you need to learn. You need to learn. Put that in your mind. And there is another reason why to comfort yourself. What if you really feel like you you don't want anyone around you in that moment or in a specific in a specific period in your life what if you really want a peace what if you want a peace and you really just want to be a want want to be alone for for maybe a day or two maybe you really you just need that break from other people you need to comfort yourself and to deal with your emotions by yourself because there is nobody who really can understand you than you. Okay? You are the person who need or who needs to understand himself better than anybody else in the world. Because people come and go as life comes and go. So, you need to learn to be independent. To be independent and to know how to deal with your shitty moments. There is no problem in that. I have no problem with that. Number 12. Don't follow your emotions whenever you're in the peak of them. Maybe you are really very, 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 very happy. Or maybe you're very, 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 very sad. Don't make any decisions in those moments why because you will mess things up because when you be really in the peak of your emotions like when you're when you're really angry or happy or sad or whatever you will make bad decisions because your emotions are not balanced what you need to do is to wait until you become in in your balanced emotions state. When you be in the everyday state, emotional state, not in the peak, not really, really angry, not really, really happy, not really, really sad. Okay? Because you need to do or to make a rational decision whenever you make a decision you don't want to make decision using your emotions or you don't want to make an emotional decision and then you will regret it because i don't want you to get regret or to be in a horrible situation because you did something you didn't should to do i don't i don't want you to to get regret because you did something really was not rational at all be rational 
I know that whenever we are happy, we tend to do a lot of decisions that we think they are really the most, that will, that they will be the most successful decisions in our lives. But it's a lie because we are not stable in that in that moment we are really really happy and that is really really a great thing but it's not because it's great that we will do or make a decision in that moment just wait until you become in your everyday emotional state and then do whatever decision that you want so please don't follow your emotions but there is still another thing that i want to discuss with you which is follow your heart but don't follow your emotions and that is really a complex a complex thing because you know i'm telling you follow your heart and i'm still telling you don't 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 follow your emotions what is the heck you're saying so let me let me shed some light upon those things those two things follow your heart i mean by that follow your intuition some sometimes we are being in a situation that we feel like there's something wrong in that thing maybe we are not comfortable maybe we feel like our our heart is heavy and there is you know something in our heart telling us no 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 that will be really a horrible thing to do no 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 i don't feel comfortable in that maybe i have to go back maybe i don't have i really i should go out from that situation from that place some sometimes we feel like this it's just our intuition to be alive it's our heart telling us and speaking to us and follow that voice that inner voice that telling you to do or to not to do but actually it's a feeling more than a voice because sometimes we just don't feel right we feel like there is something bad there is it you know it's not because you are afraid you know what i'm saying right it's not because we are afraid to do something that we really feel feel that maybe something bad will will happen what if what if what if i i didn't say what i what i need to say what if i really forgot my speech what if no 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 that is you know a fear that is a fearful thing or a fearful emotions or actually it's the it's just the fear emotion and i'm telling you don't live your life in fear but what i'm talking about here is follow your intuition and i'm 100 percent sure that you really know that feeling it's not a fear feeling but it's an intuitional thing something just something in fr- in your heart it's it's I didn't know actually how to explain that, but I'm I'm one hundred percent sure that you know what I'm talking about. So I will just let it to you to know. And I'm telling you to follow that intuition. That intuition. Follow your heart. What your heart, your intuition telling you. What I'm telling you also is not to follow your emotions not to follow your emotions follow your logical logical mind follow your logical mind why i'm why i'm saying that because we women tend to follow our emotions a lot a lot a lot a lot and we are not rational at all in our decisions and because of that we are becoming a door mate or door mates for a lot of men in our lives and that is really horrible and that happens 
because of us, because of our shitty emotions that we are following every single day. By morning and by night, we are following our emotions like that. I'm really in love with him, but he really is a bad man. Not a bad man, he is a bad with D, a bad man. But still, I'm in love with him. What I can do, what you can do, sweetie, is to let that fucking man, right? That is the logical mind talking. That is your logical mind talking to you and telling you, leave that shitty man. Don't don't follow your emotions because you are in love with him. He is a bad boy. No, sweetie, no, sweetie, he will break your heart and you will go to your friends and crying. And you will say, every man in the world is horrible, horrible, horrible. I can't trust any man in the world. No, because you are picking really bad men. That is the issue. And that because you are following your emotions. You know, just, 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 if you are a woman, please, if you are a girl, please, 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 think first. Think first. If that is really a good man, if that is really a good guy to be in love with, that is really a good guy to to communicate with and to be his boyfriend with, uh, no, 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 to be her, uh, no, 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 sorry, to be his boyfriend or not. No, what the shit, to be his girlfriend. I'm really sorry about that. I lost my train of thought. Sorry, 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 to be his girlfriend. If that is really a good guy, if you're mind if your if your brain telling you wow he is really a good guy he he did this and this and this and this and that proves that he is really a good guy and he will respect you and he will value you as a woman if he's really good so why not be his girlfriend right so don't follow your emotions number 13 whenever you need a break take a and shut up whenever you feel like you are really exhausted there's a lot of things that you did and and you were really under a lot of pressure and you need a break just take that break that damn break because you need that your brain need that your your brain need to get charged so that he will continue with you to be a successful person what you really need to do now is or in that or in that time to take a break when you feel like exhausted when you feel like actually you can't be creative at all you just need to calm down and chill out for maybe two days four days six days or even a week if you need that but still i'm not taking i'm not saying to take a break forever i'm not saying that i'm not saying that I'm not saying that. I'm talking about you take you taking a break when you really did a lot of work and you actually succeeded in something or even though you are you didn't succeed but you did a lot of efforts in something, you know, whatever the result is, the result is, but you did a lot of efforts. So your brain needs a break. Your brain needs to get charged. You, your brain need to chill out a little bit so that he will work with you again and he will be creative and gives you a lot of cool ideas to 
to start with again. So, whenever you feel like, oh man, I'm really tired, I need a break, just take the damn break and shut up. And chill out and really enjoy that. Enjoy the break. Actually, for me, I learned that really the hard way because I was working on my English non-stop. Uh... And and I did really, really a lot of work and a lot of efforts and someday I really just I really just want to want to disappear because I couldn't just you know keep up. I couldn't do that. I needed a break, but I but I couldn't because because I just have that belief that I need to do what I can every single day without stopping, without a break, without anything. Just do, 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 do. And and after that, I had to take a break because I get depressed for for a month or a month and a half. And that happens, that long break happens because I actually didn't take any breaks at all. In that period that I worked on my English and I had exams, the graduation exams in college and a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And I didn't take any break and that really, really affected me badly. And I got depressed and I got really to just want to... Uh, want to leave the world actually you know to go to the heaven I really needed that break so so much but I just I was just prevented myself to take that break and I told myself no 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 there is no break at all just just work 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 but what I really realized later is to take the damn break whenever I feel like I really tired. And that what I really doing in those moments whenever I need a break, just I'm taking that damn break. And I'm advising you, I'm telling you that take that damn break whenever you need, whenever you feel like you really need a break. Ah, uh, now I will leave you with that little break and then let's come back now we came back again so let's just go quickly through what i just said those lessons number 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 don't let people see you crying and think how to create a life without needing anyone to comfort you and don't follow your emotions whenever you in the peak because you will mess things up 13 whenever you need a break take that damn break and shut up <laughs> That are my lessons that I learned about life actually in 2020. And there is the other one which is to take responsibility whenever whenever you did something wrong. Take the responsibility and admit it you did. And say that I did something wrong. I did that wrong and I will not do that again. Don't, don't through their responsibility upon some upon something or someone else and tell yourself that it's not my fault it's his fault it's her fault it's not my fault no stop 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 don't stop just take the damn responsibility and be a man even if you are a girl <laughs> be a man also be a man and take responsibility because if you didn't take responsibility, you will never learn anything. You will never grow 
you will never be really a better person whenever you grow up or whenever you age in because we will never be be youth or young forever we will get older and to get older with wisdom and with experience and with improvement we need to take responsibility we need to take responsibility upon our faults upon our mistakes and to learn how to prevent them from happening again and how to avoid actually doing them again that what you really need to do and that what I've learned actually and I'm really really gr uh, grateful that I've learned that lesson to take responsibility upon my mistakes and upon my life my life is my responsibility whenever I'm really uh, or whatever I really successful or I'm really uh, not successful or what or whatever skills that I have whatever relationships that I have whatever friends that I have everything is my responsibility it's not anybody else's responsibility it's yours so take that damn responsibility and think how to make your life better how to make your life better because you are the only person who knows how and who knows what exactly to do. So, so take responsibility and think how to improve your life. It's not because you, you are not that successful nowadays that you will be your whole life not successful. It's not like that. It doesn't work like that. Just think what you are lacking from and trying to be better in those things. I'm not that good in English actually. I am not satisfied and I need to do a lot of work to be better or to get better and to actually master that language. So what I really need to do is to think how to because my level in English is my responsibility. My, my life quality is my responsibility and yours also. It's your responsibility, your, your, your life, your, your life quality is your responsibility, not anybody else's. So, 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 I will end here and I will, I will see you in the next episode. I hope that I really get to do a lot of episodes the coming days and I will really see you. I will really be happy to let you listen to what I have to say. And thank you for listening to this episode. I know it's still a long episode. I really didn't want to do a long one. But it's still, I'm just talking and really love talking to you. And telling you what I really think about a lot of things. Uh, so, if you want to connect with me, you can visit my website. I will put the link below. And you have the access on access to my instagram page my linkedin page my youtube page and that's it <laughs> so you can put a comment you can tell me whatever you want and you can ask me whatever question that you have to ask. Uh, I will be honest with you. I will respond honestly. I will respond in my podcast in the episode. So that I can tell you freely and answer freely and with honesty. So 
if you want to ask any question, just comment or just send me an email or something. You can, you can, and you will. Remember, be consistent and commit until you make your dreams come into reality. And until next time, peace.